so welcome here. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, be doing a, a, a pen and ink drawing. This is the pen I'm using. It has two different nibs on it. And it also has, uh, so that's a little bit thicker nib, and it also has a fine point. I'm going to basically just draw mostly with this one. I'm going to be drawing one of my favorite artists, Chuck Close, who I think is really cool. So uh, another way to do it is also to have your drawing already established, and then you can just ink on top. I'm just going to go ahead and start. And then we can come in with the big black honker, sort of black darken all this in. Right, right about now, I want to sort of switch up and do this sort of go back to this because I'm going to be depicting the uh, fine lines of the hair and of the eye of the eyebrow. These folds of the skin, I'm, I'm remembering that they're round, you know, and I just go back and forth and, and go between both of these and um, just start stretching out to the side of his face. I haven't really put his eyes in, his pupils in yet, or his iris, uh, because I want to make sure that I nail this down. Sometimes you can also use some uh, dots, um, and you can get in here and sort of, as this fades into the shadow mask, just give yourself some nice little lines here. This is all a big, a big shadow mask. And I think I want to conserve this, this ink, because it looks like I might be losing some of it. So, what I just did, a few of these lines, they appear to be like major misses. And I'm okay with a major miss. I don't, I don't, I don't stare at the major miss and say, oh man, I suck. I'm just going to take my time and see where it goes. Sometimes wrong lines can be actually kind of cool. So this would be his ear right here. And it still might not look like much, but I'm going somewhere. This is a journey. And again, these folds are round, so I want to sort of indicate that they are round, right? I think sometimes in art, we tend to do a line and get so freaked out about it because we think we messed up. And sometimes it's, it's good to mess up. So I want to move over and get this other side drawn in here real quick. One of the things I'm trying to do is really feel like if this is a bag, it's round, you know? Really getting in there and really feeling that out as round. Squint your eyes, take a quick look, make sure you're you're really nailing this down. And some of this can even be just sort of shattered out as well. Um, lines are indicating tone. Move your pen in those circular motions to capture that form. So I'm going to draw myself a straight line over, figure out where to start this other eye here. And this is, feels about right. Now I'm doing this really squiggly and quick and loose, but you get the idea. This goes up, sort of does this. This is a big shadowy mass right here. Really cool. Come back in really darken this out, really make all of this in the shadow. As I start to switch up to this hair, which I was going to say is I switch to my finer line because I want to depict this really fine lines with um, obviously a finer nib. So I'm going to put this other lens in here, taking my time, drawing, if it's a circle I'm drawing a little bit at a time, Just breaking the circle into a few moves. Another thing that I did here that is uh, I made this line, I mean this other lens, le a little less um, like the other one. And even though they're exactly the same, I like, I like changing things up just a tad. I don't like perfect symmetry in my drawings. 
so I might make uh, one shoulder just a tad wider. I don't make both sides of the face exactly the same. The, the, the bizarre thing about uh, ink, pen and ink is uh, it's what you what you what you get is what you see. You don't you don't barely do it. You commit, and you are uh, somebody said a sketch is sort of like the, your 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 cent, your central nervous system is on display. It's it's there for everybody to see. Like oh you blew it there. You didn't do that right. But I think uh, as I'm as, as I think about art more and more lately, it's like. You know what? Just forget what everybody thinks. I'm just going to get in there and have fun, and if I blow it, I blow it. But I think it's kind of cool to create art uh, sort of um, with abandon. And I don't mean that to sound, uh, you know, trite. I, I really do mean that. I've been really thinking about creating art without any sort of barriers and what people are thinking, or how does this line up with this artist and that artist, and how am I going to be perceived? What are people going to say? And I, and I love creating art right now, like, just sort of like, I don't need anybody's approval, you know, I, although I do like it, and, um, but I don't want that to be my main motivating sort of, uh, sort of the top of what I'm doing, like, why I'm doing something, and, and I think beautiful things happen as we start really creating art that is uh, sort of free from um, uh, the praise of man or the, the acceptance of man, it's kind of cool. And yet it's a tricky thing because we do want to be liked. So anyways, as I get to this nose, I'm sort of just rounding. I'm remembering that it's round. I'm going to get into this big, this little shadow mass right here. I'm going to remember that there's the bone, there's a skull underneath here. And I want to think those things through. Just sort of darken all this in. And, you know, the manner with which I darken things in, it's, it's really, it, there's no particular way. You can make squiggly lines, you can all go to the right with a right angle. It, it doesn't really matter. It's really your own preference. He's got a lot of hair right here. He's got a big mustache. I'm going to come down and I'm going to uh, really get in here and really refine this out. It's feeling pretty cool. I like it. A lot of it's just not even holding your, pencil, your pen like, like, like a normal device, you know, or normally how you would hold a pen. You, you hold it like you're, um, you're not holding it like you're writing grandma a love letter. You know, like, dear grandma, thanks for the cookies, they were fantastic. Um, you're holding it really in an odd way and it sort of creates a lot of magic and a lot of cool things that can happen. Whatever object I'm drawing, I'm always thinking about what it actually is. So it, what does it feel like? It's hair, you know, it, it, um, it's fine. It, I'm not thinking about it's fine lines. I'm not thinking about anything other than well, what is this hair? What is it? You know. In other words, pay attention to what you're what you're drawing. But again, think about like this cheek. It's round, you know. And if I want to really come in and um, make my lines a little more accurate, I'll hold closer to the nib. But by and large, this feels pretty good. Um, I'm going to just um, sort of maybe indicate a few more things here. His head is round. He's got a lot of age spots on his head. Every great artist begins with the fundamentals. In his course, Drawing Fundamentals with Thomas Flaherty, award-winning illustrator Thomas Flaherty will coach you through the foundational skills that he employs to draw. You'll learn how to see your subject, effectively use tones, perspective, and composition, and much more. So whether you're a young artist just beginning your artistic journey or an older artist who has never been formally trained in fundamentals, in sharing with you his vast knowledge, Thomas will help make drawings simple. Check out and bookmark his course on schoolism.com. Now, back to the video. You can see on the eye, I'm really holding fairly close to the nib because I really want this to be pretty accurate. I'm going to circle this highlight there, give myself some nice darks there, put in the actual pupil and sort of darken the top part since the lid is sort of shadowing it a tad and sort of leave it at that. Alright, I'm going to put a few little eyelashes on here. Uh, he's got maybe a tad over here, let me see here. And I might just sort of break this out, pull this out a little bit more.
Now, as always, if this video has helped you, spread it around with your friends, share it on your social media, things like that. All right, everyone, so if you like the video, you wanna learn more, you wanna improve as an artist, highly recommend clicking over to Schoolism, signing up for the newsletter, because in this newsletter, you will always get free videos and tutorials and news about Schoolism so you can keep up to date with what's going on in the world. Click over now, and I'll see you guys next time.